Okay, so let's see if you have the math skills to figure out how to solve this math word problem. So here is the question. The length of a rectangle is three more than twice the width. Now the perimeter of this rectangle is 60. What are the dimensions, i.e. the width and the length? All right, now if you think you can solve this, and feel free to use a calculator, by the way, put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. All right, now, before I show you the answer, let's take one more look at the question. So the length of a rectangle is three more than twice its width. The perimeter of this rectangle is 60 or 60 units. So if it's 60 inches, 60 centimeters, it's all the same. So uh, the question is, what are the dimensions of the rectangle, i.e., the width and the length. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. The correct uh, solution here is nine by 21. So the width is nine and the length is 21. All right, now, if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face and an A plus. You're like, I missed you too, math man. I thought I was on the right track. What went wrong? Well, you probably made a simple error or uh, you probably uh, maybe even set up this uh, problem incorrectly but uh, either way we can fix whatever you don't understand matter of fact uh, let's go and get into this right now okay so first things first uh, first we are dealing with a math word problem so always use the rule of three which is read the problem a minimum uh, three times before you start writing anything down on your paper now it's tempting to just read the problem once you know maybe you might be rushed maybe this is on an exam or uh, the test or whatnot and you kind of want to uh, you want to hurry through the prompt. Well, you're setting yourself up for failure if you hurry through uh, a prompt like this, or any math word prompt. So you have to be disciplined. And even though uh, you might understand the prompt, read it again because it's going to really kind of sit in your brain a little bit longer. You're going to be able to think of of uh, possible strategies or other techniques you could use to solve a prompt. So again, the rule of three: make sure you understand the question. But after you uh, read the prompt. Uh, like at least three times, then what you want to do is try to model the situation uh, or visualize it. And of course, this is where math becomes very creative. But here we are dealing with a rectangle. So it's probably a good idea just to sketch out a rectangle and then interpret all these different parts of the problem, uh, maybe visually, right? So the length of this rectangle is three more than twice the width. This part right here could be a little bit confusing. Uh, so certainly, again, you want to read the problem more than one time to make sure you've interpreted uh, the problem correctly. And then, of course, we're going to need to understand what the perimeter of a rectangle means as well. So let's go ahead and just sketch out a lovely little rectangle. And here it is. So here's a rectangle. Now, uh, hopefully you know what a rectangle is, but it is a four-sided polygon where uh, the angles are 90 degrees. Not to give you an over uh, overly technical explanation, but this right here would not be a rectangle, right? This is not a rectangle. So, you know, we're talking rectangle. Try to draw the best rectangle that you can. But the one thing about rectangles, and this is very important to understand uh, as well, is that the opposite sides of a rectangle are congruent. So in other words, this side right here is the same measure as this side. This side is the same measure as this side. Okay, so hopefully all of you out there know that. And uh, let's go ahead and just uh, see what I have here. Okay, so going back to the problem, we have uh, the width and the length. We have information about the length and the width of this rectangle. So the length of a rectangle is defined by the width, right? It's three more than twice the width. So let's go ahead and just put a W here to represent the width. And again, the length is defined by the width. So it's three more, and I'll read this one more time, three more than twice the width. And we gotta be very careful here because algebraically, a lot of people can confuse this and make some mistakes. So that's, again, you want to go nice and slow. So let's translate this uh, sentence into a uh, variable or algebraic expression. So the length is three more, okay? So if um, 
if I, let's say you have $4 and I give you three more dollars. Okay. What do you, how do we interpret that mathematically? Matter of fact, let me change the color here. So you have $4 and I give you three more dollars. So does that mean uh, you have this many dollars? Okay. Do we multiply? No. If you have $4 and you have three more dollars, we add three. Okay. So this part of the problem right here, three more means that we have to add three, not multiply three, but multiply th uh, or add three to what? Well, this is three more than twice the width. Okay, so here is the width. Twice the width would be 2w. So the length is three more. Okay, this part right here, three more than twice the width. Okay, so hopefully this makes sense. Now, this is the first part of uh, you know figuring out this problem. The second part is that we have this information right here, which is going to be critical, that the perimeter of this rectangle is 60 units. All right, so what does perimeter mean? Uh, this is very, very easy. Uh, the perimeter of uh, any object is the distance around the object, the sum total. So if we wanted to calculate the perimeter of this rectangle, we would take this side and we would add it to this side and add it to this side and add it to this side. So add up all the four sides, we're going to get 60. But remember uh, that I said that a uh, rectangle, the opposite sides are congruent. Okay, so if this is W inches long, for example, well, then this uh, side over here is also W inches long. And over here, this length would also be 2W plus 3 inches long. All right, so hopefully you can kind of see where I'm going here. But let's go ahead and ask ourselves, all right, well, uh, we have, you know, an interpretation of the problem. We understand what the perimeter is. How are we going to figure this out? Well, we have a variable here, okay? We have the width, and then we have the length. We've got this variable L and this uh, other variable W right here. Well, what we need to do is uh, set up an equation. You see, when you use a variable to express an unknown amount, you can't solve for it in algebra unless we can set up an equation. Now, typically, you want to try to set up uh, equations of with the least amount of variables uh, needed. Okay, so we have L and we have W. So the length really is 2W plus 3. Okay, so that is the length. So let's just kind of erase this right here because what we want to do is set up one equation with one variable. And that variable, of course, is W. And if we can figure out what W is equal to, if we could solve for W, well, then I can get the width and I can also get the length. Okay, so how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to use our knowledge of the perimeter, okay? And in most uh, algebra word problems or math word problems, they give you enough information uh, to solve the problem, okay? In other words, um, if you're not quite sure, reference the problem again, read the problem over and figure out, hey, how can I build a relationship such that I can solve this unknown? Now, I want to kind of caution you, uh, uh, oftentimes, not all the time, but uh, certainly, uh, you know, uh, it's not all that infrequent. You will get an algebra word problem or a math word problem with extraneous information. So you got to be careful. In other words, there's a lot of information in the problem. You don't need this information. They just they throw that in there to kind of confuse you. And I know some of you might be saying, that's so you know wrong. Why do they do that? They should just give me the exact amount. Well, because in the real world, right, let's say you're actually trying to use math to solve a problem, you're going to be collecting data, you know, trying to collect a lot of different, uh, different information. And some of it is not really applicable, but you have it anyways. So same thing. Uh, in algebra word problems or math word problems. You just got to use the information you need. And the information we need here to build an equation has to do with the perimeter. Okay, so we know that if we add all four sides up here uh, around this rectangle, uh, the answer is going to be 60. It's going to be equal to 60. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So we have the width right here. Well, this is the width as well. So how many W's do we have? Well, we have two W's, right? So W here, W here, and then I have two W plus three. So this is also two W plus three. So how many two W's plus three do we have? Well, we have two, okay? So two of these plus two of the W's is equal to the perimeter, which is 60. So let's go ahead and build an equation, and this is what we have. So two W, so this is two sides of the rectangle and these actually uh, both widths, right? And then here 
or uh, the two lengths, okay? But the total sum of these sides is the perimeter, which is 60. Okay, so this is our equation and hopefully you're with me. So at this point, it really comes down to your ability to solve this equation for W. Now, before we continue on, I have a quick question for you. Are you enjoying this content? Well, if you are, please consider hitting that subscribe button. This really does help me out on YouTube. And if you're gonna do that, hit that bell notification as well. I will definitely uh, appreciate that. Also, if you need additional help in math, check out my math courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. Also, I'm gonna give you uh, some specific recommendations at the end of this video. All right, so let's get back to the problem. This is not too difficult of an equation to solve if you have, let's say, uh, math skills, even up to say pre-algebra. Now, if you don't understand algebra, how to solve linear equations, let me give you a couple quick suggestions. One, I have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel that will explain this process. I'll walk through the complete solution here in a second. But uh, I also have my um, algebra courses. My most popular courses, you'll find links to those in the description as well. So if you really wanna learn algebra, you can sign up for my pre-algebra class, my algebra one class, or even my math skills rebuilder class. That course is designed for those of you that might wanna just kind of go back and relearn all the math that you forgot, or maybe learn math the first time because you never really you know, duh, you know, understood it in school. Okay, so here we go. We get two W plus two times two uh, W plus three is equal to 60. What do we do first? Well, this part of this equation is a part where we need to use the distributive property. Anytime, anytime you have a number, outside of parentheses, we can't do anything here until we distribute this number to these inside terms. So two times two W is four W, two times three is six. So now I have two W plus four W plus six, two W and four W, these here are like terms so we can add the coefficients, which are the numbers in front of the variable. So two and four is six. So now we have six W plus 60, or six W plus six is equal to 60. Okay, so continuing on, what do we need to do? Well, we need to get all our numbers on one side of the equation and all of our variables on the other side of the equation. So we're going to go ahead and subtract six from both sides of the equation. Remember the golden rule in algebra is whatever you do to one side of the equation, you could do, the, um, uh, you could do whatever you want to one side of the equation as long as you do it equally to the other side. So we're gonna subtract six from both sides of the equation, add down in a column manner. So six W plus nothing is six W. Positive six minus six is zero, and 60 minus six is 54. Okay, so now we're down to the very last step to solve for W. So we have six W is equal to 54, so all we need to do is divide both sides of the equation. Again, both sides by six, and we get six divided by six, which is one, or one W, or W. And 54 divided by six is nine, so W is equal to nine. Now, one thing you don't want to do as a student is to be, oh, yes, indeed, I am so happy. I am so smart. I'm going to get an A+. Plus. Look at me. I just solved for the variable and then turn your paper in because, unfortunately, uh, that is not going to end well for you. You're going to get points taken off. Uh, you got to make sure you answer the question. So in your excitement, you, you just can't, you know, uh, you know, stop and be like, okay, here, here it is. Well, what was the question? The original question was, what's the dimensions of this rectangle? So you got to go back and use this information. So W is equal to nine. That is the width. Okay. But what is the length? Well, we have to actually calculate that. All right. So the width is nine because W is equal to nine. But remember, the length is two times the width uh, plus three three more than twice the width. So we can just calculate this right here real quick. So if the width is nine, uh, twice the width, or three more than twice the width is gonna be two times nine, which of course is 18 plus three. And of course the answer is 21. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in algebra, check out these courses right here. So pre-algebra is uh, for those of you that are studying basic algebra. But uh, if you are further along in mathematics, then you may wanna check out my Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 courses. Now, my Math Skills Rebuilder course is a review course. I cover basic math, algebra, and geometry in this course. I'm gonna leave links to all these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.